Hi, my name is Rose Bryson, and today's video is going to cover how to create a mirror image of your 3D model in Slicer. So this is an incredibly quick and easy thing to do in Slicer. You could probably do it in about 10 seconds, but I'm going to go a little slower today to make sure we don't miss any steps. So we'll begin by opening up Slicer, and I'm just going to drag and drop the model that I've created into the workspace. You can double check that you're loading a 3D model and not another format, and then we're ready to work on our model. So before we begin, I'm just going to double click on that 3D viewer to make it full screen so it's a little easier to see. And then I'm going to click the push pin icon and the eye symbol and deselect 3D cube and 3D axis labels. So this isn't a mandatory step. I just like getting rid of them uh, before I start working. Now, the model that I've loaded is the right femur of a bear. So the goal of today's video is to create the left femur from this model. So to do that, we're going to navigate to the Surface Toolbox module. And you can do this in two ways. One, by clicking on that drop-down menu, going to Surface Models, and then selecting Surface Toolbox. Or you can simply click that magnifying glass icon and type in Surface Toolbox and switch to that module. Once you're in the module, you'll simply select Bare Femur Right as your input model. And then as our output model, I want to select Create New Model As. And then rename it as Bare Femur Left, so that I can just clearly distinguish between my models. The next step is simply to click Mirror. And then I'm going to select the axis that I want to use. So to create a left femur from a right, I'm going to select X axis and then click Apply. Now, immediately I've created a left femur, and I can use this toggle models button to switch back and forth between my original model and the new model I just created. And you can see which model you're looking at by that changing text here that says input or output model. So at this point you're done and you've got a couple options. You could save these individual models as separate files. You could transform them so you're reorienting them in space, say into the anatomical position or you could transform them and then merge the models so that your new model is both femurs in the same file. So what I'm going to do for the remainder of the video is just speed up this process so you can see what it looks like to transform these models in space and put them in the position you want them to be in. And if you want to learn how to do this process, you can go check out some of the other videos from our lab that show you how to both transform the models and then how to merge multiple models into one file. And you can see what I'm going to be left with is two femurs arranged side by side in anatomical position. And now we've just very quickly, very easily created a left femur from a right femur. So that'll be it today. Um, I just want to say thank you to the 3D Slicer team just for making this great software free for everyone to use. And if this video was helpful for you, please subscribe below for more tutorials from our lab. Thank you so much. Bye.